All right, everybody, this is a guided walkthrough for the Crack the Gate 1 challenge from PicoCTF.org. This is an easy challenge in the WebEx category as part of the Pico Mini by CMU Africa event. So the description of the challenge says, we're in the middle of an investigation. One of our persons of interest, CTF player, is busy, believed to be hiding sensitive data inside a restricted web portal. We've uncovered the email address he uses to log on in ctf-player at picoctf.org. Unfortunately, we don't know the password and the usual guessing techniques haven't worked, but something feels off. It's almost like the developer left a secret way in. Can you figure it out? Additional details will be available after you're launching your challenge instance. Okay, so this is one of those challenges where you need to launch a virtual machine that hosts the website that we need to investigate. So you, what you want to do is you want to click on the Launch Instance button over here. So after a few moments, you're going to see that the website is started up and there's a link down in the description here. So the website is running here. You can copy that link. I will give everybody a link to the challenge just in case you want to follow along. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and navigate to that challenge. Whoops. Okay, so this is a login page like any other. Um, we were told that the account that we need to log in as is ctfplayer at picoctf.org. So if we, we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna go over to the login page, we'll paste in the email here. For the password, we don't know it. So we'll just type in something like test. We'll try to log in and we get a message that says invalid credentials. So what's going on over here? Another thing we can do is we can take a look at the web page source, view page source, and we're just going to take a look at what's going on inside the web page. So inside the web page, we see, well, the first thing that really catches our eye is that there's a hidden message in here. There's a hidden message in here. There's also a note that says remove before pushing to production. Okay, so we got this mysterious message over here. Uh, <laughs> the other thing that we, um, that we need to take note of in this application is that the, the method that we're going to be sending to the application to log in, this is spelled out for us. So it says over here in the script, in the JavaScript, fetch login. So this is making a post request to the login endpoint over here, it's going to send content type application JSON. So this is JSON information we're sending, and we're sending our form data. So the form data is defined up here. So form data is email, email, email value, and then password, password value. This is going to be important when we start crafting our payloads later. Okay, so. Let's, uh, let's talk about what's actually going on. Where's my JPEG? Where's my PDF file? Here it is. Okay, so in this challenge, there's an encoded message in the HTTP comments inside the app's login page. So this, this is the message right here. And what we can do, we can decrypt the message. So it turns out that this message is encoded in a, a very common classic encryption method, which is called ROT13. So in ROT13, each letter in the original message is rotated by 13 letters to form the encrypted message. So if, for example, when you've got ROT13 and the original message has an A, that would turn into an N in the encrypted message. Uh, or if there's a letter B, it turns into the letter O, etc., etc. Um, if there's a letter O, it turns back into the letter A. Basically, everything is going to be, it's a very, very clean method of encryption. And uh, that's what we can do with um, the stuff over here. Where is it? Where is that hidden message? This one. Okay, so we're just going to copy this. 
there's very there are a few well-known web applications that can do encryption and decryption from rot13. So if we go over to, I don't know, rot13.com, we can paste in our original message and it gives us this message over here. So note Jack, temporary bypass, use header xdev access, colon yes. So what we're dealing with here is we're dealing with a, a hidden HTTP header. So, I mean, HTTP headers are things that we can send along with our web requests. And um, in this case, let's, let's talk a little bit more about this. So the encrypted, the message is encrypted using a common classic encryption method, ROT13, and we get this message over here. So the other thing we need to know to solve the challenge is we need to know what kind of post data we need to send to the web page. So on the web page, the JavaScript lets us know what kind of data to send with our HTTP post request to the login page, and this is it over here. So we have to combine all this information to craft a payload that we can send to the server to get the flag. So we know to send, we, we have to know um, what kind of information to send this to, um, to the web server here. And in this case, we're gonna be using a curl command to send a post request. We're gonna include the header content type application JSON because that's the type of information we're sending. We're gonna send the JSON data email ctfplayer at ct, uh, picoctf.org and password equal to test. And we're gonna include the hidden, the hidden HTTP header xdev access, which is set to yes. So we're gonna combine all of this and we're going to send this to the web server and solve the challenge. So let me go ahead and uh, go back to the web page here. How much time do we have left? We've got seven minutes, okay, good. So I'm just gonna grab this we're going to actually let me let me show you how to solve this inside of the PicoCTF web shell. So the PicoCTF web shell is something everybody has access to. It's not that tough. It's a basic Caesar cipher. The limitation it never rotates special characters. Yeah, that's the other that's the other thing about the Caesar cipher is that all special characters, everything that's not everything that's not a an alphabet letter, it that they don't get affected. Okay, so here's the um, here's the Pico CTF web shell. We can use this to solve the challenge, and we know that this is the um, the server we're contacting. We just run curl x post. So we're sending a post request um, header. What is that header? Content type application JSON. Okay, we need to send a few other things as well. Okay, unexpected token in JSON at position something something. Hmm. I must have done something. Okay, so let's see. Got to wrap it with single quotes. Oh, right. This has to be single quotes. Okay, so we uh, we managed to contact the server. So we get the response, success true, email, this, first name, this, flag, Pico CTF, brute force. Brute force? I mean, we didn't do brute force, but sure. That's the flag. Okay, we're just gonna copy this. Escape, escape every double quote. Got to wrap it with single quotes or escape the double um, with the uh, every single double quote. But uh, yeah, so sometimes when you're dealing with um, information like this, you need to make sure to alternate your quotes. So if you got single quotes, if you got double quotes, you need to make sure that the stuff inside, any quotes inside of the single quotes are double quotes. So you alternate single quotes and then double quotes. Let's go ahead and submit this flag. Where is it? Crack the gate one. Okay, so submit the flag. 
and you're done. All right, so everybody, that was a guided walkthrough for the Crack the Gate 1 challenge from the Pico CTF platform um, as part of its Pico Mini by CMU Africa event. If you enjoyed this guided walkthrough, please click on the like and subscribe buttons on the video and leave a comment underneath the video. But until next time, Hacker Frogs out. Hey there, Hacker Frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.